Hello, I just want to look at meiosis here for a little while and talk to you about meiosis so you understand that there is a difference between meiosis and mitosis. Okay, so meiosis has to do with the um, creation of cells for reproduction for the human body. And it doesn't matter, boy, girl, you have reproductive cells in you, and that's how the human body works. And on this page, when you are reading it, um, you're showing, this shows how in the first part of meiosis, there is a simple cell here, and it starts going through a process and splitting like mitosis, very similar to mitosis, but there's an extra job to have done. And that is this. This portion here changes so that as it goes through these, it starts out with a cell like I showed, comes through. Then these two cells that are created, they come along and they do some changing of the chromosomes. Parts of the chromosomes switch back from one to another and they kind of trade off parts and then after that trading off takes place they then split remember there's two of them at this point split and they become four and these four now become the cells either of the sperm or of the egg in our human body and we'll get into that a little bit more chromosomes have all the traits that we have from our parents. Those are the chromosomes that you see here. Those little stringy ones, those are chromosomes that are um, splitting up and then replicating themselves into the other cells. When this process is finished, this cell here goes from 46 pairs of chromosomes like we have in our body right now, in our body cells, all the way through to cells with half the number. The reason for that is these sex cells then, during, um, during conception, once these cells here from the female or male will then connect with this cell and it will become one organism, one baby, one whatever it might be. It could be one, the way uh, kittens and puppies and so on. So that's why kittens and puppies, their brothers and sisters, look a little bit different than each other because they have, they have chromosomes from one parent and the other parent, and they're mixed during this process here, they're mixed up. These chromosomes kind of split up and mix. So each one of these individual cells of the one parent, of the mother, or of the father are a little bit different. So you might look like your siblings, but not exactly. And that is why. <clears throat> okay, so just a little explanation about this as you're doing your... Um, two assignments. You are doing well. Keep it up. Thank you.